Hey, what's going on, everybody? First we feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today we're joined by Donald Duck. He's an icon of the American cinema. You've seen him in films and on television in a variety of roles, and his distinctive delivery makes every appearance unique and unforgettable. He's also celebrating a major milestone birthday, 90 years of wisequacking. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Donald Duck. Donald, did you know that you have the same birthday, June 9th, as Michael J. Fox and Natalie Portman? Oh. Never mind, let's move on. And I understand that your longtime girlfriend, Daisy, she's the one who put you up to this, right? And here you are to take on the Hot Ones Challenge. We've curated a very special lineup of five sauces for you today, which means a very steep ramp up, Donald. I notice you have your cauliflower wings on that side of the table, but no water or milk to help you out. And I see your pal Mickey waiting over here in the wings for moral support. <laughs> Hiya. All right, Donald, are you ready to get started? This first one is called the Queen of Roasted Hearts. So tell us about your start in movies. I've interviewed actors with illustrious runs in Hollywood, but never someone who's been making films since 1934. How did you get your start in movies? Well, my first job was on the Wild Yellow Hand. That's when I had a mind for my debut. <laughs> It's true, I think you were even the headliner in a few films. Saludos, amigos. And the three caballeros. Didn't you pay for that, though? Shut up, Sean. Didn't you get your feet stuck in the cement, too? Get stuck with all the bad luck. No one but Donald Duck. Okay, okay. That's enough of that. All right, let's get you on to the next sauce. This next one is the Powerline Shock Sauce. Okay, you have a baby sauce for me. Give me the good stuff. Huh? Donald? Donald, are you okay? I'm fine. Are you sure you're okay? We don't want to... I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. So, Donald, in researching your family history, I was surprised to learn that your middle name is Fauntleroy. Fauntleroy, where does that come from? Yeah, yeah, Fonderoy. Long distance shot was funny. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, I only use it when I'm doing my taxes. Boy, when did I dig this stuff up? All right, Donald, it's time to move on to sauce number three, but I have to warn you, this one, it really does up the ante. This is Maleficent's Fury. Are you ready? Ready. No 
pressure, Donald, but I think the fans will want to see you take a bigger bite, especially after that baby sauces claim. Come on. What do you say? I'll even follow your lead. Okay, okay. I don't know what's going on with a bunch of food. Huh? Oh. Happy now. Donald, you're truly one of a kind, but that said, there have been many celebrities who've tried to imitate you over the years. What do you think when you see stuff like that? Here are a few more. Well, there's the Donald we all know and love, King of the Tantrums. Well, Donald, in the interest of time, we're going to move on to the final wing. But I have to warn you, this is me being your friend knocking down the fourth wall. This next sauce is very, very hot. It's called Straight Out of Hades. Are you ready? Give me a best shot. I can take it. Okay, Donald Duck, to close things out with your beak on fire and duck-sized brain slow roasting in hot sauce, I want to hit you with some rapid-fire questions about some of your animated cohorts. Are you and Darkwing Duck related? <laughs> on DuckTales, your Uncle Scrooge gets a lot of the limelight. Do you at all resent his wealth and power? <laughs> So Huey, Louie, and Dewey, your nephews, we hear you're cutting them out of your will. Do you care to comment on that? Oh, gosh. Oh, ah, yeah, here you go, Donald. Join us on the next episode when our Disney guest will be Bambi.